Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I went to the thrift store and I found some really cute items. One of them is going to be a painting project that I will show you later. But first I am going to take you into Big Lots and I will show you all their new spring and farmhouse decor. Okay, so here we are in Big Lots and I'm just gonna walk you through the store and I'm just gonna show you some items that I felt were really cute and I really liked their spring items and I really loved their farmhouse style items. And so I'm just gonna show you what I found and I will try to get as many prices in the video as I can.
Okay, so I just got back from the thrift store. I had donated a few boxes and a bag of clothes, a box of like some household items. And I thought I would run inside and just see what they had. They did give me a 20% off coupon and plus the blue tags were 50% off. So I picked up these super cute shelves. This one was, gosh, how much was it? So it was $7.99, 20% off of that. And then this one is a little smaller. This one was $5.99. So 20% off of that as well. And I am not going to leave them these color, this color. I'm not going to leave them this color. I am going to paint these white. I know, big surprise. But I'm going to paint these white and distress them. And I'm not sure exactly where I'm going to put them right now, but I just could not pass those up. I have actually been looking for shelves very similar to these, so I was very happy to find them. I also found this super pretty eyelet um, bed, bed skirt. Excuse me, I can't even talk. Super pretty eyelet bed skirt. Oh my gosh, look how pretty this is. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Um, this one was $3.99. Oh my goodness. Can you believe that? 100% cotton. So this was $3.99 and I'm going to, um, put this on my bed, obviously. And then I just got a few shirts for the kids. And then I found these Lucky brand jeans. They honestly don't even look like they were ever even worn super cute and they were not $17.49 they were 50% off so that is what I got oh I also got this it's like a cast iron like a bird feeder or something I don't know you can use it to put maybe like a candle in there or I don't know you can put it in your garden and put like bird seed in there but I thought it was super pretty and it matched with my decor. So I got that as well. That was $5.99, 20% off of that. So that is what I got. I'm gonna go outside and paint these right now and um, I'm going to show you the whole process. Okay, so I painted these with some spray paint and I don't know what's going on here. Um, it didn't really do that to this one. Maybe just a little tiny bit over here, but it's still drying and I think they're turning out really pretty. But I think I'm going to add one more coat of spray paint and then let them dry. Okay, so I put a third coat of paint on these and they look so much better. 
So now I am going to distress them and try to figure out where I'm gonna put them. But I think they turned out really pretty. Okay, so these are all dry and I left the tops the way they were. I didn't paint the tops um, because I kind of like the darker contrast for the tops, but I am just going to use 100% acetone nail polish remover, some Q-tips and maybe some cotton balls because I'm gonna get rid of um, some of the overspray that's on the top. You can kind of see it and I'm just going to distress it with um, nail polish remover. So I did make a video before with um, distressing my painted um, projects. I did some candlestick holders. Here, I'll show you. Okay, I did do a video in the past and these were a um, thrift store find. I got these at the Goodwill, they were black and I painted them white and I distressed them using nail polish remover and a Q-tip. So um, I just felt like doing that would work a little bit better than sanding and it did. I absolutely love how it turns out when you use the acetone or the nail polish remover. So I will show you exactly how I did that. Okay, so here's what they look like all finished, and I love how they turned out. I love how whatever color that was underneath that these were painted with or stained with or however they were done, it came through almost looking a little like rust, so they look even more old and antiqued, but I love, love, love how they turned out, and I just have them sitting on a old towel right now so here is what the front looks like or the top I should say it's just that um, wood color look and now I need to figure out where I'm gonna put them but I think they turned out really really pretty just wanted to let you guys know that this is the paint that I use because I know that some of you probably will ask me I always use the Rust-Oleum brand. I like this one the best. I have used um, a few others, but I really like this one. And um, I think they even have a chalk paint version of the spray paint. So this is the one that I use and it is in the satin finish and it is just the white color. That's what I used for the shelves. Okay, so I just washed my um, bed skirt that I got. I actually used, the lighting's really bad. I used um, the laundry sanitizer and I also used um, OxyClean, I think that's what it was. And I also put it on the sanitized cycle. 
and look how bright and white it is oh my gosh it's so pretty and look it even matches my it matches my comforter cover or my duvet cover I should say so yeah I think it turned out so pretty so I am going to put this on and I will show you what it looks like Thank you so much for watching everyone. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, I would love it if you left me a thumbs up and I hope you guys all have a wonderful day. Bye.